how to create a landing page with canva for beginners hey guys welcome back in this video i'll show you guys how you can build your own landing page using canva now in this particular tutorial i want to build a landing page to promote and sell my scalp scrubber you probably have seen this product online already but if i search for it i'll show you guys the product over here but i want to build a landing page that is just a basic you know product selling tool which promotes this particular product and can lead people directly to a checkout form you can easily build simple checkouts for your products using stripe so i don't have to build an entire website instead i can have my entire procedure automated with canva and stripe now let's get into it. So to get started, I'm going to go into the Canva dashboard and I have a account on Canva. If you don't have an account already, sign up with your email address and then click on websites. Once you click on websites over here, you have a few different templates that you can get started with. Now I'm going to search for landing page specifically in the search bar. And once you search for landing page, you're going to click on landing page website. And then this will show you different templates for landing page based websites. Now there are a few different templates that you have access to. Some are pro only. However, there are a lot of different free options as well. Now in this, I can create a new landing page or use a template. So I am going to be using this template over here and I'll click on customize this template to get started. Now you can do a scratch step-by-step -step beginner's guide as well. So if you want to build this from scratch, you can always do that as well. The reason why I like to use a template is because it just makes it easier for you to, you know, add your info. So first off, I have the logo or the name of my website. I need to name it Emmeline. And then we have the best scalp scrub like this. And then I'm just going to be replacing the text over here. And then I'm just going to make it say for hair growth and vibrancy. So after that, once I have replaced some of the text, I might want to customize the images. So I'll just click on the image and then click on delete. And then I can go into uploads and upload a image. So I'm going to upload some images for our website. And we have these images that I'm going to be using. So I'll just click on open to upload these images. And I want to use this as our basic image, like so. And then once I've placed this image over here, below that we have our second section. I don't need a lot of sections, so I'm going to be deleting some of these. And I'll only keep a few sections like this. And once I've done that, I can add a second section. And on the first page, I also want to add a buy now button. So to do that, I can click on elements and then choose a simple shape from here like this. And once I've chosen this little shape, I will place it, place it over here like this or this maybe. I think it looks better under the text. And then after that, I'm going to go into the text and then add a heading and add a buy now button. So once I've written the text down, I'm going to change the text color to black like this. Now I want to formulate this to be a bit more stylized. So I'll just click on this and I might want to round off the square so I can click on the shape and then I can convert that into maybe a more rounded shape like so. So I'll make it a bit more rounded. And after I've done that, I'm going to select both of these together and then just reduce the size and then place it over here. Now below that, I'm going to also change this text and instead I want to add my own images. So I'll delete the image from here and we will add our own images like this. The best all-in-one tool for your hair health and well-being. Like this, I have, you know, whatever text I want to add like this, I can insert that over here. Now, once you have set up your text in your buttons, you're going to click on the button or you can just click on the text of the button and you're going to change it to buy now because this is going to be a simple landing page for a product. Now, obviously your call to action on your landing page might be different. If you're not selling a product, if you're promoting something, it could be leading people to an about us page or anything else. And you can just click on that and add text accordingly and then click on the text and then on the top right you're going to click on link 
and then you're going to link it to that you know particular product so if this is my checkout page i'm going to copy the link of that and then insert that over here and then just click on done once I've done that, let's say I want to add more info such as our social media or Instagram, or maybe I want to build another, you know, promotional page showing my items. So I will insert some of the images like so. So let's say I want to use these images like this. Like so, we have two images in the same frame. And I'll just resize them a little as well like this and then i can write some text in the middle to you know further promote our product tool like this and now once i've written in a all-in-one tool i will go on ahead and place that in the center select the text and then select the color that i want now after that you can add a footer section in which you can add info about you know the basic tools the basic options or variations you might have for that product for me it's a simple product so i don't have that much detail to add but on our top button i'm also going to go on ahead and link it as well so just click on the text that you have and then click on these three dots and then click on link and then add your checkout page link over here then you can click on the text again and then remove the button for it to be underlined now after that you also have the shape and if you click on the shape you're also going to be able to click on link and you can link the shape to the checkout page as well. So if people click on here or here in both situations they would be led to your checkout page and once you have completed your landing page layout you can click on preview on the top right to be able to preview your website or landing page. So this is a very simple landing page. And after that, you can click on publish website on the top right. Now, once you do that, you can choose to resize this on mobile versions. Then if you want it with navigation or without navigation, I don't want a navigation panel, so I'm going to make it without navigation. And then you have three different options. So you have a free domain, purchasing a new domain, or using your existing domain. So we're going to continue with Canva's free domain. And I'll just click on continue, and then I will add down the line, or let's just say landing page scalp scrub landing page and then after that you can add some page description as well as enable password protection have search engine visibility as well as link preview so i will just click on publish over here and in a couple of seconds our landing page using canva will be published now landing pages can serve a wide variety of purposes this is a simple landing page to sell a product so if i click on buy now this will lead people directly to the product page you can build a landing page to maybe you know show your portfolio show your product so show a service or even do affiliate marketing and with all of that you have the ease of using canva for free so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe